Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Gameplay Objective Kunde card to review today. So, as you guys know, Kunde was an absolute monster to use in the beginning of the year. He was one of the quote-unquote baby meta cards that uh, we like to use a lot. He was actually very, very solid to use. Better than uh, Hermoso's card. Hermoso was... I didn't like Hermoso's card too much, although I know that if he gets an upgrade, he'll be an absolute monster. So with Kunde's card, guys, we are looking at a card that is 510, medium, medium work rates, right footed, two star skill moves with a three star weak foot. Uh, now, obviously, in regards to his in-game attributes, this is where it makes his card really freaking good. Okay, he's got 80 acceleration with 80 sprint speed. So obviously, we're going to be slapping a shadow chemistry style on this guy, and you guys are going to see the big difference that is going to be on this card, that it's going to be on this card when you give him the Shadow Chemistry style. So if we go and flip it over here and we put the Shadow Chemistry style on him, you can see that he gets 90 acceleration with 90 sprint speed and all the boosts that you could potentially get with this card on the Shadow, you do actually get, right? So he's got, he gets 95 standing tackles, uh, sliding tackles at 98, interceptions at 95 with defensive awareness at an 87, while having okay physical characteristics, right? Because this card is an agile type of player. Why? Because his dribbling stats for a center back are very good, but he also has good passing abilities as well, right? He's got 82 short passing with 72 long passing with 79 composure. As a center back, that's obviously pretty good because, you know, just when you, just when you want to clear the ball out or you want to pass a certain areas under pressure, yes, team press is overpowered regardless, but Having a card like this will definitely be a beneficial thing to have in the center back area. The dribbling is very important for a card like this, and this is why he was one of the baby meta cards, right? Because if you take a look at the difference between this one and the rare gold, the rare gold for a very cheap option, right, on a shadow chemistry style, those dribbling stats are really good for someone that was really, really cheap at the time of the shadow chem style, right? So with this Kunde card on the shadow, the dribbling stats significantly improved, right? Even if you were to take a look at the comparison here, it's plus threes, plus fours. That for a center back, while also getting uh, plus threes for the pace, very, very massive thing to get as well, right? So uh, dribbling stats at 74, 78, 86, 86 reactions is amazing to have, right? And then his defensive boost with a shadow will be nice. And then his physical, pretty decent for base card stats. Now, the cool thing about this card is obviously the fact that he will still get upgraded, right? Like if Sevilla keeps going through the group stages, right? Which they pot they potentially could because they, uh, they're they obviously a very good team. There's a big chance of him actually getting that. So in regards to Kunde being in this team, we're going to go ahead and give him the Shadow Chemistry style, which my dude probably doesn't have. Oh, he does have. I don't know why they would recommend a Hunter on a center back, but we move, we move. Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing the review for both Salah's card and for Kunde's card, so that way I can actually defend normally with Kunde, uh, specifically defend with him, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna use the four triple two over here, right with four and six, pressure on heavy touch at five and four. Uh, my boy just came in clutch just with these uh, tactics alone. Let me just go ahead and switch this here with Roberto Firmino, Gini and all of them will play in the CDM position. Oh, if I can. Oh, so weird how that works. You press the same button and then it goes to the place. Very strange. But uh, Salah, we're going to actually have over here. No, no, no. We're going to have him in the right attacking position striker when we're rotating him. So, uh, yeah, with Kunde, we're going to be trying him as a left center back. Again, the tactics defensively will be pressure on heavy touch and then long ball for the attack. So let's get into a game and uh, see how he plays. This guy's got a foot champs Benzema in the squad, Liga Santander players. He has a lot of like cool first owner stuff. I wonder if that Messi's first owner. <laughs> it must be, right? I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary. And joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we can't wait for this one to start. Yeah, just want to see his dribbling a little bit. It's not like super responsive. It's more like when you're actually like uh, controlling the player moving left and right. That's like the most responsive area. And that's obviously going to depend on how your gameplay feels at that moment as well, right? So. Woo! Nice little build-up play goal right there. Roberto Firmino opened up space really nicely. 4 triple 2 working nicely as well, man. Nice little cross right there. Good position right there at Kunde to get that ball. Nicely done. Under pressure, nicely done. Beautiful stuff, man. It's good that he's blocking that area because if he makes that pass off, he would have been screwed right there. Well, 
Good pressure right there. All done. Good stuff, good stuff, man. There you go, give the ball away and just see if Kunde does well here. His running is super smooth, man. There it is, yeah. Great defensive play right there. We gave the ball away in those areas, you know, we kind of want to force a little bit out of the players. And uh, it worked out really nicely, to be fair, man. Kunde with a great possession-based tackle as well. So good stuff. That one will just take him out, you know, those, uh, those running fake shots, those things are deadly. Be careful about those ones. Play weighted pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Why not? There we go. We'll take that goal scoring opportunity as well. The tackles sometimes are crazy, man. We make it work though. We make it work. Nope. Possession based tackle. Let's go, Kunde. That's my boy right there, bro. This is a good gameplay objective card, man. I'm glad that they actually gave this one. French dude as well, so it kinda like works with Mukiele too. You can do some like cool uh Cool setups with that, you know. On the ball. De Jong. Nope. Well done again, Kunde, man. Tracks the guy really nicely right there. This could be dangerous if he's not well done. Well, he did what he had to do defensively. Hmm. If I had like come back on defense on my little cam right there, would have worked. Would have worked. Oh, Kunde again. Messi. Ooh, get that slide, Taco, my boy. Let, 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 let him use that team press. Make those runs, my boys. Make those runs. There you go. Oh, the dribbling with Firmino. Sometimes a little sus. A little sus. I like that quickness about him. That quickness is nice. It's just like, fake shot stop. Boom. Doesn't feel like too heavy, you know what I'm saying? Which is nice. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. No more time left. The card's pretty good so far, guys. I'll be honest with you. It's, it's a good gameplay objective card. Like I said, man, like for me in my main team, I have like Alfonso Davies, Mukiele, uh, Kunde. Well, Kunde, we're, we're going to obviously have to unlock, but he'll just be like a really cool card to get because he's French. You know, you could do so much with French cards, and it's a usable card too. Possession. The link up that Konate and uh, Kunde have together is really nice, actually. Konate, Konate is usually like a pretty cool card. He had like a road to the final last year that was so disgusting when it got upgraded. Oh, he's doing sellies? Oh, God. The pause has already been queued. Hmm. Okay. Look, we're using like a 4-5-1 right now, just why so I, I really wanted to just try it out, you know? Okay. Sounds sounds great. Let's uh let's uh let's see what's uh, I think this is fine like this. Yeah. And then I'll just do that. It's a lot of top. Nah, we'll use it like this. Yeah, we'll do it like that. We want it to be like super aggressive with a 4-5-1, you know, open up the space a little bit, but we're gonna switch to the four triple two. Nice, Kunde. Well done again. Lost the ball right there. We still get it back. Oh, he's probably going to score that, though. Oh, we get that little tackle right there with uh, Konate. Firmino. Now Mane. Okay, we'll score that opportunity there with Mohamed Salah. Nice stuff right there, moves into the space really well. We score that opportunity. Let's get it. I overcommitted right there with Kunde just to see if he'd still get that ball, and he still did. Nice. Again, the reason why this is actually a good... Uh, Gameplay objective card is because he actually had those dribbling stats. If he didn't, he wouldn't be able to move as good as he does right now. We initially got that ball without having to control the player, but then gets it back right there. 
All right, guys, so final verdict on the Kunde card. Uh, it's definitely a gameplay objective card that's worth getting for sure for the two different or three different reasons, actually. Sevilla links. So if you guys have Jesus Navas, yo, I just thought about that. I have Jesus Navas in my team. So if I want to use my Jesus Navas with this Kunde card, I can actually do that. I totally forgot about that, but that's actually a really good link up right there because you can actually do Jesus Navas Kunde, Diego Carlos with like Neto or something in net and then just link players in other positions, you know? This card has so much like linkability, you know, like the French links, the Sevilla links, the Liga Santander links, there's so much you can do with it. But not only is it that, but with the shadow chemistry style, you're actually looking at more than a usable center back in my opinion. Like for me personally, I enjoyed using this card more than players like Koscielny or um, Delaney's card, right? Like, I, I haven't felt like they've released a center back card that is cool like this. And the cool thing about this card as well, like I said, it's a live card. So if he gets, if Sevilla gets into the next round, this card also gets upgraded. The thing is, though, is that the things that you want for this card to get upgraded in the most is obviously going to be dribbling and physicality. Pace will definitely be upgraded. Defending will, uh, will definitely be upgraded. So the Shadow Chemistry style will be very nice. But those two together would be amazing in regards to upgrades. So this card is definitely a gameplay objective card you guys should do. Because if they get pretty far in the Champions League, he's going to have a dope card. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this player review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.